Both Poland and Hungary have made it pretty clear that they are okay with this deal if it's accepted by the remaining 24 members of the EU. For the moment, what we have is a compromise worked out by Poland, Hungary and Germany, which holds the rotating EU presidency. If it's accepted, it's a compromise that basically allows both sides to claim victory, as all good compromises do. The principle of tying disbursement of EU funds to respect for the rule of law and the EU's own rules will have been established and Poland and Hungary's veto threat will have been overcome and the budget uh, will be voted through. On the other hand, the scope of the mechanism is much, much reduced. It only applies when the rule of law issues could directly affect the use of the EU money in question. And it will only apply to new projects, not to ongoing ones. And perhaps most importantly for Viktor Orban, the Hungarian Prime Minister, it won't apply until the European Court of Justice has had its say on the issue. And that verdict is unlikely to come until after the 2022 elections in Hungary. Now, Viktor Orban is accused of abusing EU funds for the enrichment of his political allies and the building of his clientelistic authoritarian power base. There won't be any extra scrutiny on those activities uh, now until after those 2022 elections.